Hi, this is the Royal Sovereign Pub, and this is where William Crouch had his studio. When he, this is it? Yeah, this is where he set up business in 1898. And now it's a pub. And there'll be a, a bigger surprise when we go inside, because you can still see where his studio uh, was located. Can we have a look? Yeah, OK. So here it is. Yes, I mean, it's unusual to have uh, a ground floor studio, but he would have had this specially built to get as much light into the room as possible. By the time William Crouch opened his studio in Bex Hill in 1898, photography was well established. George Eastman had introduced the first Kodak camera 10 years earlier with the slogan, you press the button, we do the rest. But photography still remained largely studio bound and was, therefore, a natural progression for traditional portrait painters like William Crouch. This is the earliest evidence I've discovered of uh, William Crouch being in Bexhill. He took this? He took this photograph. This is the first picture I've seen that he took. How amazing! Yeah. Sackville Studio, So he's got Sackville yeah. Studio from that. Incredible you've got these things. Yeah, well, what is unusual about this, I've been collecting for about 15 years, and all the time, I've only ever found these two photographs in oh, Sackville Studio, where, where his competitors, I have dozens of those, now, which seems to say he wasn't doing that good a business. Uh, because it, I thought he probably must have been doing quite well because he had two apprentices and an assistant, you know, as we see from the census. So I assume he must have been doing pretty well just to employ that number of staff. I mean, it's very unusual for a, a, a small town photographer to employ that number of uh, um, staff. From my point of view, I think he's overreaching himself. Right. He's got <laughs> ambitions beyond his, uh, his abilities. E exactly, yeah. I, for some reason, he's trying to give this image of being a high-class studio and he's trying to attract a high-class clientele, but I don't think he's got the resources to keep it going. In his early ad advertisements, he said he was from Bond Street. New Bond Street, yeah. yes. Well, I mean, New Bond Street, again, is the to give the impression of a high-class photographer. But he can't really have been there. No, he, he, was, no, he was there. Oh, he was? Because yeah, I assumed that was just a, he just made that up to make himself look impressive. No, no, he, he, he was there. I'm fascinated by the fact that he had somewhere in New Bond Street, which is where I like to do a bit of shopping myself from time to time. And, um, I mean, that's really top end, isn't it? To have, to have premises well, there. He, he placed it in his advertisement. So, in, uh, when he was in Bexhill, he makes it very plain that he was from New Bond Street. Now, this is where he was at 118 New Bond Street. Um. Uh, but that's not William Morris Crouch's name. It's and it says Beethoven. It's, it's not Beethoven either. No, well... Uh, <laughs> not, that, not that I'm aware of. No, well, for whatever reason, when he was at 118 New Bond Street, he went under the name of Carl Beethoven. There's got to be something for No, no, that, it, it was, no, it was quite, it was quite common for photographers of this period to adopt um, cultured names. Uh, I suppose William Morris Crouch doesn't sound that grand. Exactly. I mean... Yeah, you know, I don't want to be rude about his name, but you know. This is my family you're talking about. <laughs> but kind of Beethoven. Right. Ha straight away. Uh, um, a a ring to it. He <laughs> has culture uh, right. uh, around it. But before he moved to Bond Street, mm. uh, I discovered him working under his own name. Right? Oh, uh, brilliant! Now, for the first time, his name actually appears on the on the photograph. Crouch. Oh, Crouch. look at her in a. Binary. Yeah, it's and, it, and it's, it's the Bijou Photo Studios was named that, and he was in Regent Street. And interesting, there's a date on this one, so it shows that he was working as a photographer in London in 1885. Right. Uh, right. And later that year, his business collapsed, and that's when he uh, moved from the Bijou Photo Studio, W. M. Crouch, to Beethoven. So he, when he when he got so into he left his debts behind. Exactly. I knew it. So when he when he got right. into when I he, knew it was fishy. <laughs> when he got into financial <laughs> trouble, he just he, he just set up another studio, right. and he eventually ended up in Bexhill. Hill. <laughs>